Hey, wake up. Wake up. What? Where am I? You've been sleeping for the past two years. Your fans think you're dead. What? But I remember uploading a video just two days ago. Huh? Are you f***ing stupid? Look at this. No, this, this, this can't be true. I know you're trolling me. You f***ing You have been sleeping for the past two years. Now if you don't get your ass up and start uploading right okay, now. Okay, okay, stop, stop. I will, I'll upload, I'll upload. Yeah, so apparently almost two years have already passed since I uploaded my last video. How? I don't know. But I did just recently graduate from high school. Yup, that's me with my diploma right there. And sometime before my exam started, I had the brilliant idea to trying to learn Unreal Engine. Why did I choose to do this right before my final exams? I don't know. Was it a dumb decision? Maybe. What do you mean by that? Now, except for Roblox, I've also before used Unity and even Scratch. Yeah, but I never tried the likes of Unreal Engine, mainly because it seemed very intimidating and also because my shitty ass laptop for the love of God could not handle the shit. Go crazy. Ah, 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 go stupid. Ah. But nevertheless, I was bored of Roblox and instead of studying for my exams like I should have been, I pulled a 180 like Jojo Siwa and decided that this would be the best time ever to learn something this incredibly hard. Psst, it was not a good idea. Well, I started anyways, and on the first day, the first thing I did was downloading Unreal Engine, which was very massive for some reason. Just like your mom. <laughs> Someone please laugh at my joke. No. And created a new project where I'd be testing all my learning on. As you can see, I've already tried Unreal before because I have old projects made, but I'll let you guess how that went. Bruh. So as you can tell, my computer cannot handle Unreal well, like, at all. So I turned down the visual settings of Unreal a bit. Ah, much better. Definitely. Then I went on the internet and searched for some good tutorials to begin with. Most of them were very short and vague or didn't have the stuff that I wanted and the paid ones cost money. And let me tell you that I'm a broke man. Broke I literally have no America. pennies to my name. So that wasn't an option either. If you're a broke boy, just say so. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of searching, Free Code Camp came to my rescue and I found a whole 12 hour video from them. This video contained pretty much everything that I could need for starting off with Unreal as a beginner. However, it started off with the blueprint of C++. If you don't know, Unreal Engine has two ways of programming its logic, Blueprint and C++. And when I first looked at Blueprint, I thought it was something made for kids or some dumb people, which I most definitely am not, okay? Are you sure about that? I thought if I wanted to do block coding, I could just go to Scratch or something and make a game there. But I gave it a try anyways, because this seemed like the only tutorial that had everything. And let me tell you, after some time of learning Blueprint, Blueprint is Hard. Like seriously, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I, I seriously underestimate. Absolutely not made for my dumb brain. So anyways, for the first few days, I kind of just sat around and kind of just looked through everything, you know, all the blueprint stuff that the video had and kind of just tested it on this project that I made, you know, trying to learn all the stuff. And after a grueling four hours and 30 minutes of this video, the blueprint part had finally finished. But now came the real challenge. See? Plus, plus. Oh my god! Oh my god! And let me just be honest. I don't even touch that part, okay? I don't even touch it. You can't blame me. It's hard. It's hard. By this time, it had already been about a week, and now I kinda knew Unreal somewhat, and I wanted to actually test my skills, you know? So I thought, why not try and make like a simple platformer, obstacle course kind of game? To, you know, test my skills. So that's exactly what I did. Now, a platformer game needs a few main things. A proper player controller, a map, some obstacles, and some other stuff, definitely not important. So I started off with the character first. Thankfully, this tutorial already had a character creation section before, so I did what I do best. Watch the video and copy completely everything that he did, line for line, or I guess block for block, because this is blueprint, not actual code. Shut up, man! I even added some of my own touches, like giving the character this air dash thingy, Whee! like the one from Fall Guys, to make it feel better. Right, so this is my character so far as you can see you can move around yeah i can jump and also crouch and you can do the air dash yeah that's pretty much it fast as fuck boy now the character functions properly yes but something still felt missing i'll let you guess what it is 
And if you guessed animations, you're right. Now, something I hate more than my very own life is modeling and animating. It's literally the bane of my existence. I can't do it. I even gave animation a second try with this character. Thought maybe trying it for one more time wouldn't hurt. But let me tell you right now, it made my brain hurt. Like this? Guess what it's meant to be? It's meant to be a run sequence. Yeah. Also, don't ask why the character is so black over here. It just happened to import like this. I don't know why. So in order to save my sanity, I just searched for free online animations and to my good luck, Mixemo came to the rescue. It had all the movement animations that I needed so I quickly downloaded these animations and imported them into Unreal. I couldn't really find a dash animation so I went back to Blender and made this real quick. I guess it's good enough, right? Brother, uh, what's that brother? Now even though I had the animations, there was a slight problem. I didn't actually know how to put the animations into the character. Bruh. So back on the internet I went, scarring for another tutorial until I found a really good tutorial that taught me this. And after countless tries, no seriously you have no idea how long this took, like I don't know why, it, it, it just wouldn't work. Anyways, after like 50 tries, here it was, voila, just chef's kiss. Epic Games, I'm expecting a 7 figure job after this, hit me. Only problem was the dash animation, yeah every time it played, it kinda looked like the character broke its back or something. Now the character was finally done, but the game, if you can even call it that, had absolutely nothing to do except for running around in an endless void of nothingness. Oh, nigga! So the next thing I added was... So logically, I also didn't know how to make a map or anything, so I did what I always do, go online and search for a tutorial like my life depended on it. However, for map making, I couldn't really find a good video that taught all aspects of creating a map, and most of these tutorials was teaching stuff like this, which I absolutely could not even make even if I tried. So I kind of just played around with the different tools that Unreal had to offer, and found this modeling section that I didn't know existed before, and this allowed me to mess around with basic geometry. This was good enough for me, so I just played around with this and quickly built this method up yeah don't judge okay also is it just me or does this low-key look just like roblox anyways by this point time was running out so i quickly created some obstacles using blueprint added some checkpoints around the map which teleported me under the map for some reason help me help me and also a mango to collect at the end of the game to win because <clears throat> look at the name of the channel I think it's self-explanatory why I added a mango at the end. Also, by the way, look at these blueprint codes for my obstacles. They might look messy, but I gotta say, I think they're pretty complex for a beginner like me. Yeah, Epic Games, where's my six-figure job? Man, if you were such a bitch ass son. Lastly, after adding some finishing touches to the game, I present to you this monstrosity of a game. It's my first creation in Unreal, okay? Don't judge. Feature games will be better. Hopefully. Oh yeah, you can double tap space oh, to, like, to dash. Oh. Yeah. Bruh. You have to time it. You have to time it with the with the axe. Oh, I okay, did it. Okay, I did it. Okay. Let's go. Wait, can I cheat you? I think I can do that. Okay, I think. Shy, you have one life. Uh, okay, I, I'm not dying to this. What are you doing? One. Two. Okay, let's go. Three. Okay. Are there no checkpoints in this game? They are, they are. You get it. Okay, <laughs> if you don't die, maybe you can reach a checkpoint. This is your last try. This is uh, your last okay, try. Okay, okay, okay. Please, at least reach the first checkpoint. I need to, I need to cook, I need to cook. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. I don't die here, I don't die here. Okay, oh, nice. Die. Oh, there's a checkpoint there? Yeah. Okay. Checkpoint reach. Let's go. Nice. A few moments later. Okay, yes, nice, yes. Nice, nice. Not a single death yet. You have that, yeah. What is what that? Is I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Stop the cap. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, nice. Can you pass this? No, ah. I cannot. No, I cannot. <laughs> Come on, you're so close. You're so close. 83 seconds. You're so close. Oh, oh my wow. god. <laughs> How are you not dead? <laughs> you're but it's literally touching it. <laughs> Pricks of being short. Oh my god. Oh. What? <laughs> what? I, I'm, I'm built like that. I'm built like that. Yes, oh, yes. How? Yes. How did you win that? <laughs> Genuinely, how did you win that? What the <laughs> hell? Know.
that'll be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new subscribe and if you haven't liked yet like the video tell me if you like this unreal engine stuff if you guys do i'll make more i know i've been gone for a while but i have great plans for this channel so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one peace